So last time we talked about two-player games, and basically there's a particular type of two-player game called a combinatorial game, and it has these, these properties. One is you cannot go backwards. Another is the same moves are available to both players. And a third is if, player, if a player cannot make a move, they lose. All three of the games that you watched videos on and analyzed, all three of those games have this property that they you can't go backwards, like you can't put things back in the pile. The same moves are available to both players. And if a player cannot make a move, they lose. Let's look at something like seven comma three, two toothpick takeaway or just takeaway. You can't go backwards. What does that mean? You're only allowed to remove objects from the pile you're not allowed to add them back. And so you're kind of going in one direction only in terms of the move space. The same moves are available to both players. Both players on their turn can remove two or three objects. And it doesn't matter which player is going. All that matters is that that's, that's their option. And finally, if a player cannot make a move, they lose. So if you start on zero, you automatically lose. This is what's called a losing position because you can't do anything to change the fact that you've lost. If you're, it's your turn and there are zero objects on the board, you have lost, sorry. Um, you should never agree to play this game if there are zero objects on the board when you start. So this is what's called a losing position. But there's another automatically losing position for this game. What is it? Besides zero, there's another losing position. What is so one is also a losing position because you can't make a move from one. Your only options are to take three or two. Now we can work our way back up from this because we can say, well, I found two losing positions. I'm gonna look at what would be the next thing up, which would be two. Is two a losing position? Okay, so someone says, no, it is a winning position. Why is it a winning position? If you start at two and you take two, which is a legal move, then you've won because your opponent is going to lose on the next round. And so remember that when you make a move, the move, the position that you put your opponent in is going to be where they're starting. And so if I'm currently on a position, then when I make my move of taking away two, that's going to put my opponent to start out on a losing position. And that's what I want. Now let's look at three. Does someone else tell me, is three a winning position or a losing position? Okay, so what can you do from three to make your opponent lose? Yep, you take away three and that puts your opponent on zero and then they're going to start out on zero so they will lose. All right, so now here's the tricky part. These were kind of straightforward because if you have three, you want to take away three. Now let's look at four. With four, I have two choices. I could either take away two, which would lead me to... Uh, which would lead my opponent to be on two, or I could take away three, which would leave my opponent to be on one. Those are my two legal moves, take away two or take away three. Which one should I do? Should I take away two or take away three? Okay, so I have one vote for take away three. So if we take away three, it will make the next player be in a losing position. So is four a winning position or a losing position? Four is a winning position because I can put my opponent on a losing position. So when we look at games like the ones that we looked at a minute ago, where it has those three properties that uh, you can't move backward, both players have the same set of moves. And the important thing is a player who cannot move loses. If you have these three properties, then you can do some things here. You can create a directed graph for the positions of the game. And every position will either be a winning position or a losing position, right? So a winning position is one where it is possible to put your opponent on a losing position. Now, this is an important distinction. I'm saying it is possible. I'm gonna to try to do a cool 3D effect. Let's see if it works. What do you think? Is that ready for the metaverse? Or does it also need some blue? There we go. Winning position, it is possible to put your opponent on a losing position. Now four, I could have I could have put my opponent on two, and that would have been giving away the game. It's always possible to make the wrong move and not and not keep your advantage. But a winning position is one where there's at least one good move that keeps your opponent on the disadvantage. So there is there is at least one good move that keeps your opponent on the disadvantage and on the path towards losing. So yes, it's possible to make a bad move, but it's not fair to say it depends on how you play. It, it does depend on how you play, 
But at the same time, there's a way to play where you can be guaranteed to know what you're doing. Like if I said, can you drive to Walmart? And you said, well, I don't know because I might drive on the wrong side of the road and crash. Would that make sense? No. The fact that it's possible to do the wrong thing doesn't mean that it depends on that it depends. The way to win the game and be 100% certain that you will win. And it comes from this analysis. If someone is on a losing position, it's not a moral failing. Like it's not like they're not smart enough to win. It's that the structure of the game is such that they cannot win if their opponent does not make a mistake. So a losing position is one where there's nothing you can do to avoid putting your opponent on a position where they will win. A good example of this would be five. If I look at this five position, there are five things on the board. What are my options when I start with five? Well, I can either take two and put my opponent on three, or I can take three and put my opponent on two. But either way, they're going to win from there. So five is a losing position. Now, for the same reason, six is also a losing position. Okay, so if I look at six, what are my choices? Possible things I could do are I could move from six to three, or I could move from six to four. And I'm going to say six is a losing position because no matter what I do, my opponent has a way to beat me. So a losing position is one where you cannot avoid putting your opponent or it is impossible to avoid putting your opponent on a winning position. Now, it's possible that if your opponent doesn't understand the game or hasn't analyzed it thoroughly enough, that they may give up their advantage. But you can't count on that. You can't count on your opponent messing up. So even though um, you have to assume that your opponent will make the best moves possible, if your opponent is unlucky or not analytical, so much the better for you. But you can't count on that when you do your analysis. So the winning, the winning strategy for this game is to go first, take two. And then in this case, it's kind of interesting 